Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about living your life in the face of fear and the meaning of true courage. Please go back and listen to episode 17 if you haven't already done so. I think you will find the information useful for your life. Sorry, not sorry. We hear that expression in songs, on social media, and perhaps in daily conversations. But what does it really mean? Well, it is a colloquialism that means you don't feel any remorse for what you say or do. It's essentially saying, I don't care if you're hurt or inconvenienced by what I say or do, and I'm not taking responsibility for that hurt or inconvenience. Another way of putting it is something I read recently, which said, sorry, not sorry is a sarcastic way of acknowledging that someone might not like whatever you're saying or doing, but you don't really care. Sorry, by definition, is uh, feeling sorrow, regret, or penitence for causing pain. Not sorry is obviously not feeling sorrow, regret, or penitence. So how can the two be used in the same expression or sentence? They are diametrically opposed to one another, and they're mutually exclusive. In my opinion, the phrase sorry, not sorry gives people an easy way out of accountability for their words or their behavior. Now you might be thinking, I have never used that expression and I don't know anybody who does. I beg to differ. The people you know may not have said the actual word sorry, but not sorry, but their actions following their apology clearly showed they weren't really sorry for what they did. So in my opinion, sorry, not sorry is not just an expression. It outlines and points to behavior that doesn't reflect sorrow, regret, or penitence for causing someone else pain. So what constitutes a real apology, or as it is defined, a statement of remorse you make when you've done something wrong? What makes it real so the recipient feels that it's genuine? I read an apology has five parts. They are, number one, freely admitting fault. That sounds like, I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings. You're clearly stating the damage or what happened as a result of your words or actions. Number two, fully accepting responsibility. That sounds like when I said you looked chunky in that dress. So I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings when I said you looked chunky in that dress. You're stating what you did or what you said that actually hurt someone. Number three, humbly asking for forgiveness. That sounds like, please forgive me for being so insensitive. Number four, immediately changing your behavior. That sounds like, I promise to think before I speak and will consider your feelings from this point forward when I share my opinion and when I interact with you. Number five, actively rebuilding rebuilding trust. Actively rebuilding trust, which sounds like, if you give me a second chance to correct this, I will show you that I am serious about not hurting your feelings in the future. There's a word used in Christianity called repentance. Repentance in this context means you express sorrow to God for your sins and you turn away from a life of sin. You go in the opposite you know, direction. You trade you know, evil for good, vice for virtue, darkness for light. The same is true of life where a true apology is expressing sorrow or regret and, and you know, showing the extent of your expression by going in the opposite direction of your former behavior, turning away or repenting, so to speak. Because the goal is to make sure you don't find yourself saying sorry while your actions are saying not sorry. Your behavior following the apology will show if the apology is heartfelt and real. Remember, as with anything in life, words not backed by actions are meaningless. So you have to show the person or the persons you wrong your apology means something by how you act after saying sorry. And the only way to earn that person's trust again, especially after deeply hurting them or causing them pain, is to do everything in your power to make sure to change that behavior that caused them pain in the first place. Otherwise, 
the other the other person's reaction going forward might be apology accepted but trust denied because as a quote says the best apology is changed behavior i'm going to say that again the best apology is changed behavior because as another quote puts it sorry does not equal trust sorry equals forgiveness change behavior equals trust and to quote another phrase, you can apologize over and over again, but if your actions don't change, your words become meaningless. So the goal is obviously not just to say you're sorry, but to truly be sorry and to let your actions reflect that sentiment. Because an apology by definition connotes regret for your words or actions. If we can only hear your regret and we can't see your regret, we have to assume you don't regret what you did or said. In closing, when it comes to genuine apologies, your corresponding actions have to match your words. No other way around that. I'm going to leave you with my final thought. Don't let your words and your actions say sorry, not sorry. Let your words and actions say sorry, changed behavior. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.